بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم افضل الاعمال انتظار الفرج meaning the best of the deeds are waiting for the reappearance of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam why? when we think about the best of intentions and deeds we think about fasting, we think about Salat al-Layl, we think about reading the Qur'an now these are very good things and we should do them but this still doesn't explain why the best of the best of the a'mal and doings and deeds are waiting for the imam. Let's see the actual reality that our own destiny is tied into our imam. When we see the best of people that have ever lived, we always realize that they are usually the best of companions of their imams and their prophets. For a moment, let's see what happens when he does reappear that might explain why it's so important to be one of those people that are waiting for his reappearance for example the eradication and the disappearance of injustice once and for all the removal of poverty imagine a world where nobody's hungry anymore imagine a world full of security no more wars no more injustice no more orphans. Our minds and our consciousness and our intellect is going to get to its highest capacity that the human race have never seen before. Our advancements as species is going to get to this very high level. Our interactions with other dimensions and so and so and so. Humanity will be at its best shape and form. That's why it's so important for the Imam to come. And it's the reason why we need to be waiting for him actively and not just passively waiting. And what I mean by that is preparing ourselves mentally to be able to be helping the Imam when he does reappear. We should try to make the dua a habit, maybe in every qunut that we make, in every prayer that we finish with, and make it a duty an active duty to make sure that we are one of those who are making a difference. It's not the first time that the savior of humanity is kept away from them. We've seen it before in history with the case of Moses, Hazrat and Musa salam. He was kept away from their tribe, from Bani Israel for years until they went and cried and begged and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reduced more than a hundred years for the reappearance of Musa salam. Prophet Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, he's also waiting to come back to the world. So Imam Mahdi alayhi salam is truly dependent of our du'as. It has happened in history. Mankind have made their savior come back sooner with their du'as and their prayers. He's actually counting on us. So let's make sure that we are actively waiting for him by starting our du'as, always starting to make du'a for him first as a priority, as a mission for ourselves. We pray for the help and the faraj and the coming of the Imam and God has made it so that our personal problems and issues that we have in our life, they get solved as well as a, con as a result of making these du'as. And I hope through our active waiting and through our du'as we can truly help the imam as humanity has helped their saviors before allahumma ajjalla waliyaka al-faraj assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah